What is up, Mama Naz, and welcome back to more Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast Super Fire Quiz. Hey, Fire Quiz, we got here is Piccolo versus Kui. Someone say here that Piccolo should at least been the level around Vegeta was around the cell. I mean, around the saga during the Saiyan saga. So, by the end of G, by the end of Z, I can't really. This comment makes no sense here. But by the end of Z, it's saying that you know, F this. I'm just gonna say this in layman's terms here. It's saying that could Piccolo basically take on Kui. Now, Piccolo. No wow. It seems you wish to die. At least, at least I, I don't know if that's unique dialogue there or not, but let me go ahead and say this. Piccolo would rape Queen, okay? Like, seriously. Piccolo is at least above, if not the same... Well, he's above, like... He's not above Vegeta, of course. I mean, Vegeta's like the second, the third, the whatever we have pinned strongest. I'm saying... That uh, around that time, yes, he would be child's play for Piccolo. Piccolo would rape Kui, okay? I personally like Kui in this game, though. Kui's hilarious. But as far as the G, as far as the Z saga goes, Piccolo against Kui, I think he basically said it for you because I shouldn't even have to clarify that one. We already know Piccolo would just beat Kui. I just kind of found this supposed to be a little bit, you know. Weird, but you know it's it's whatever. I I do this for the banana nation. I'll tear you to pieces like Granada. Look at that! Oh, oh wow, the game should have went ahead and finished you. But I guess I'll give you a oh wrong move. Oh god! Special beam getting. Why well, he says after the fact? Pathetic. Well, that was that was fast. I mean, at least I guess that has that has to be some unique dialogue there of some sort. But yeah, Piccolo will whoop Kui. There's no if ands buts about it. Now, if you go by that time around the time he met around the time uh, Vegeta killed Kui, I don't know because what if what if he did pop up there? Like I don't entirely, I'm not entirely sure on that one tip there. Your mileage will completely vary on that one. I think you know Piccolo would probably win. I'm not I'm not doubting Piccolo why by any means because Piccolo probably could. Like, seriously, give my two cents. Now, going in this game wise, I mean, Kui can sleep in the game, so I wouldn't freaking count him out necessarily. It depends on. Wow. Yeah, that's, that has to be some unique dialogue there. I mean, it's all the Ginyu Force, because technically Piccolo didn't fight one member of the Ginyu Force. Well, he didn't. There's no technically he didn't. Like, he showed up towards the end of the Namek Soccer, which. I was kind of saddened about because I wish Piccolo was there a little bit more to actually give his insights on things. Because I think Piccolo would have been a great asset. I, I mean, especially a great asset to. Whoa, what the freak? I recall Kui has sleep. Let's see. Yep, he does. Oh, well, you can cancel out the sleep animation. Okay. Alright, I, 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 I think it's because I was healed. I never knew Kui never used heal. Sleep, really, you never got a chance to see Kui actually do anything much in the series. I got you. Oh, crap. Lord Freeza. <laughs> there we go. Like, like you put your whole body and freaking physical being into existence in that one attack. I freaking love that. Full energy fully! Wow, see, he tried to dodge that one. Frankly, this game will let you do that. Oh, right now, I gotta... Oh, he's going all out. Uh-oh. Look, Frieza! <laughs> I love that. I love it! I didn't really do two supers, but on Kui's account, I would. We got a perfect there because I healed myself, so I won't really count that as anything. You know, the game counts as perfect. So you're going to get a taste with Piccolo. But I still say Piccolo would, would win. Like, of course Piccolo would win. But whatever. That's it, guys. For more Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 Fire Quest. Later, guys. God bless. Peace. And thanks for watching. Later, the Banana Nation.